Hi guys, today's video will introduce binomial distributions. So um, the, the objective today is to first, first explain the meaning of discrete probability distributions and then to introduce the concept of binomial distributions. Okay, so discrete probab probability distributions, um, they are a probability distribution that is characterized by random var variables assuming an, a finite or countable number of values um, within the sample space. Okay, so <coughs> For example, the probability associated to the size of a dice, um, there are only six possible outcomes in the sample space that are countable, and a random variable could take on the value of either e. Um, the random variable could be x equals to 1 for a 1, for rolling a 1, x equals 2 for rolling a 2, x equals 3 for rolling a 3, x equals 4 for rolling a 4, x equals 5 for rolling a 5, and x equals 6 from rolling a 6. Okay, so this is contrasted to a, um, a continuous prob probability distribution which has an infinite or um, uncountable amount of values inside the space, sample space. So the sample space itself is about, um, has an infinite amount of possible outcomes. Okay, so then we move on to binomial distributions which is a type of discrete probability, di probability distribution. It's characterized by a random variable assuming either a value for a success or value of for, fa for failure. So that, therefore the random variable can only take on uh, two values. So um, for example, if we're using the um, probability of a dice, of dice, um, rolling a six for example, okay, um, it would give random variable would equal to one when you Roll a dice um, and get and get a six. So that would classify us get a ooh, that's a six. So that would classify as success, and that's when we give it a one with a probability of one on six of rolling um, a six. Okay. So then um, for every single other outcome, i.e. rolling a one, two, three, four, five, we would give our random variable equal to zero, and that's when you fail. So when you don't roll a 6, you fail. And that would have a probability of 5 in 6 um, outcomes occurring. Okay. So uh, when we're using a binomial distribution, um, to sum it all up, uh, we can only have a random variable equal to success and one for failure. So if it's to success, we normally give it um, equal to 1. And if it's to failure, we can just give it a 0. Okay. Now the requirements for binomial distribution, there are four. So the first one, so there must be a fixed number of um, n trials. So in binomial distribution, uh, we'll keep rolling a the six um, as n number of times, okay? And that, that, that number of times must be always fixed. And there can only be two outcomes of a random variable process. So you can either have a success or a failure. You can't have anything in between. Um, and then the probabilities associated with success and failure must be constant throughout the trial, okay? So if success is given as a probability B, P, for rolling the dice, um, the probability of rolling a 6 must remain 1 in 6 throughout. It can't change. And that is also the same with failure. So the probability of not rolling a 6 um, or 1 minus P must also remain the same throughout the um, throughout the, uh, the binomial trial distributions. Okay, and the results of the trial are independent of each other, which means a success or failure in one trial um, has no effect, has no effect on the on the probability of access of a success or failure in the next trial. Okay, so that just means when we roll a 6 in the first trial, um, if we roll the 6 um, in the second trial, um, so no, the probability of rolling a 6 in the second trial won't be affected, and same with the probability of not rolling a 6. Okay, so um, the impact is we have a sequence of Bernoulli distributions of random variables, and the Bernoulli distribution just means uh, we have a sequence of 1s and zeros for success and failures. So um, it's a probability distribution, which um, takes on, so one, one for the probability of success with the probability of P um, 
of the success happening and x is x equals to zero is attributed to a failure with a probability of one minus p um, of failing okay so um, for example if we roll a dice the Bernoulli sequence for rolling a six would be x equals to one uh, for rolling a six which is a success with p equals to one on six the probability of success equals to one on six and then uh, x equals zero for rolling one, two, three, four, five. So anything other than a six with a probability of one minus p, which would be five on six. Okay, so that's the end of the video today, guys. I hope you learned something. Thank you. Cut study time with concise video summaries by top students. Visit spoonfeedme.com to view more free videos in this course and hundreds of others.